Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today we're going to can up some French onion soup. French onion soups is one of my absolute favorites and really it is so simple and easy. I love making this and having it in the pantry and my onions I noticed down in my storage were starting to get a couple of sprouts so we want to get those babies cooked up. I do not want them to go bad. So I pulled out um, all the ones that I wanted to get cooked and we're going to need about 12 cups of sliced onions. So. Um, and then we're going to need a little bit of red wine, salt, some beef broth, uh, butter, and garlic. And we'll go ahead and get started. So I always start whenever I'm canning, get the canner filled up with water. I've got a couple inches of water in there. And I'm going to put my jars right in the canner. They're all nice and clean, but I want to make sure they're sterilized before I put any food in. So we're just going to stick them right in the canner and let these heat up so by the time we're ready for the jars they will be all ready to put food in so we're just going to start by slicing up our onions and i want to get these pretty thin and uh, i use whatever onions i have uh, a lot of recipes call for sweet onions and that is absolutely delicious but i have found it's still delicious no matter what onion. I haven't found an onion that's not good in this. I love, love, love French onion soup. So, And this is so simple and easy. Really, the hardest part is, is cutting up all these crazy onions. You'll be crying and the tears will be flowing, but it'll be worth it, I promise. So I just take my onion, I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to take that piece out. I don't like the way that looks right there. A little weird spot. I'm just going to cut that right out. And then I'm just going to slice these. And about a quarter inch, between an eighth inch and a quarter inch, just so they're nice and thin, like so. And I'm just going to put them right into my measuring cup. And this is four cups, so I'll be able to measure about 12 cups really easily and that will get those right in there there and I am just going to keep cutting and I will bring you back Okay, so once we get our onions all cut up, then I'm going to come over to the stove and I start with two tablespoons of butter. Just, I don't want the onions to stick and I wanna cook these just a little bit and I wanna give them some flavor. So I'm going to add about, I've got two cloves of garlic and because I'm gonna cook these in batches, I'm only gonna put about half in there because I'm gonna cook this in two different batches because this is a whole lot of onions and it'll be easier to cook down half and then cook down the other half and uh, so we're just gonna get the garlic in there the butter and then we're gonna start adding onions and I'm gonna put about six cups about half of what I cut in there oh we're flying we got flying onions we're just going to get about half in there and we're going to cook these down because 12 cups is just about going to fill this pan so um i don't want to do that i just i'm going to start cooking these on a medium heat uh, uh medium high you don't want to overdo it you just want to get them so they start to soften up and start to become translucent it's just going to add more flavor to it is all i'm doing i'm not worried about actually cooking them all the way through because that's gonna happen in the canner. So we're just gonna kinda hang around here and stir this. I don't wanna scorch these or brown them. I just wanna get them so they're starting to get translucent. That's about it. And give them a little flavor with that garlic in there. And the butter, mmm, I love me some butter. Okay, so while I am cooking my first batch of onions, I am getting my broth started and I have got about four quarts 
of beef broth in here. And I have used vegetable broth. That works great as well. If you're trying to go vegan with this, you could definitely do that and it still tastes delicious. And I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of salt to this because this is gonna make seven quarts. I'm not real big on the salt. You could add a little salt if you wanted to. Um, but I, I only use about a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna add a half cup of red wine. We're just gonna give this all kinds of good flavor there. And we're gonna put this on just a low heat. And when the onions are ready, we're gonna add it right into this broth. Okay, so we do not wanna brown these. I don't like them browned at all. I just want them just about like this. They are soft. They're starting to become translucent they still are gonna get cooked while we're canning them. So I'm gonna transfer these right into the broth we just made and start cooking down the second batch of onions. All right, for the second half, I'm doing the same thing, the other half of the garlic, about two tablespoons of butter, and I am gonna put the rest of my onions right in here. And we're gonna cook these down and get them in with the Get them in the pot. Okay, so I have got the rest of my onions cooked down and I am just gonna put these right into my pot of broth with the other onions so everything is all together. I scoop it in because I have burned myself many times. I'm a little crazy when I'm cooking, but you know, it's delicious, so it's worth it. You learn from your mistakes, that's for sure. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I've had one too many burns and kitchen catastrophes. But I'm just going to put this in there and I'm going to let this continue to heat up just for a few more minutes while I get everything together to get ready to put it in jars. Okay, so I have my jars right out of the canner so they're nice and hot and sterilized. My um, French onion soup is all hot and ready to go and I'm just gonna start by taking a couple scoops of the onions and start putting them in the jars I want to make sure I have enough onions in each jar so I use this little strainer thing just to scoop out a couple little scoops so I know I've got plenty of onions in each jar and I'm just gonna fill them about halfway and then I will fill them with broth once I get the onions pretty much evenly distributed it doesn't have to be perfect and there's quite a bit of onions here but I like to have plenty in each jar so I know that we've now got that we've got all of our jars filled up with the onions I've got them about halfway Full. There's still going to be a few more onions in here, but it is mostly broth. I am just going to fill these up to about one inch headspace. Mmm. There we go. And you can see it's, I don't know if you can see it on here, the glass rim, that last ridge, that's about one inch. So that is a great gauge. And I'm just going to fill these all up. And I like to put an old towel down on the counter because my jars are hot and the cold counter can crack your jars. And I use an old stain towel because this is messy. and Or maybe I'm just super messy myself, but I've always got it all over the place. And the towel helps absorb it. <laughs> Okay, so once we have everything in our jars, you know, onion trying to escape, I'm going to take a debubbler. Today I'm using a wooden skewer. I usually use a Tupperware um, citrus peeler, but whatever you have. I just don't use metal on the hot glass jars because that can break your jar. So plastic or wood or whatever. We just want to move this around and debubble everything make sure there's no bubbles in there this stuff isn't too bad i don't usually have too many but in the onion soup because there's 
the onions don't really they don't get that many bubbles but if your headspace drops you can just add a little bit more broth to that and then I'm going to take a paper towel and some white vinegar um, anything with fats or anything like that there's not a lot of fat in here but because I cook this in butter the onions I want to make sure that these are super nice and clean so just a little white vinegar and I am wiping the rims of all the jars and that way we know we're gonna get a good seal and then I'm just gonna take I've got my lids over here in hot water and I got one wide mouth whoops should I jump off oh those are warm and I'm going to put a clean, warm lid on each jar. <clears throat> and this one, it looks like there's a little piece of onion, a little teeny hair onion hanging out. That can wreck your seal. So that little piece of onion, you want to make sure there's nothing that was right close to the top, but not quite over the edge. And then we're going to add our rings. <clears throat> Once we get our rings on, and I just do these finger tight. You do not want to over tighten these. It can make your lids buckle, and then you're not going to get a good seal. So two fingers is how I do it. It's I've never had one buckle this way. That's how I was taught. Finger tight. I don't want to get it too tight. That could be bad. And these are ready for the canner. Okay, so I have about two inches of water down in the bottom. And I always put a splash of white vinegar in the water because our water is a little bit hard and it leaves white rings on the jars. It's okay if you don't do that, but it does help so you don't get that white ring because that white ring is really hard to get off your jars once it's on there. And we have got all seven quarts in our can. Okay, so I've just turned this up on high to get this started and I'm using just a little bit of olive oil on a paper towel just a little teeny bit you can see here this is an all-american canner so the there is no rubber seal so you always want to make sure you grease those with some kind of oil I like olive oil people use all different kinds of stuff but you want to make sure that you grease this lip because your lid can stick on and then you're gonna have trouble so I just get this on here. I'm going to bring this up and once I'm getting steam out of my vent over here for 10 minutes, then I'm going to add my weight and we're going to do 10 pounds of pressure because of my elevation for 75 minutes because they are quarts. If they were pints, I would do 60 minutes, but quarts I do for 75. So just want to make sure these are all tight and it's ready to go so once this comes steam is coming out of here for 10 minutes I'm gonna add my weight when I get a good jiggle and it comes up to pressure over here to 10 pounds then I start my timer for 75 minutes and I'll bring you back and there you have it seven quarts of French onion soup these are all done. They're just coming out of the canner. You can still see they're bubbling and hot. I'm going to let these sit on the counter overnight. These onions will come down. They just, because they were cooking, they're all jammed up in the top, which is fine. That's how they always come out. And these will be ready tomorrow to remove the rings, wash them up, label them, and pop them in the pantry for later use. That's it for today. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.